Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you a cool new material I invented. I call it dry slime. So slime has gotten extremely popular lately. There's tons of different recipes to make your own slime. It's really fun playing with slime. For example, you can string it out like this. You can make really fine strings with it, especially if you let it stretch out. But the problem with these strings of slime is if they ever come close together and touch each other, then they just stick together because slime sticks to itself really easily. Now the same thing happens when you try to keep water apart. If you just put water in a blender, all the little droplets will fly apart, but they'll always end up coming back together due to the surface tension of all the droplets. As soon as they touch each other, they just coalesce into one big drop of water again. Now one of the ways that you can keep water droplets apart is to add some fumed silica in it. Now this fumed silica is hydrophobic and it coats the outer layers of the droplets in a very small layer of fumed silica that stops the droplets from coalescing together. So when you mix fumed silica with water, you can make something that's actually called dry water. It has the consistency of a liquid, you can pour it in everything, but when you touch it, you don't actually get wet. And what it's made of is mostly a bunch of small little water droplets that are just staying apart because the fumed silica won't let them stay together. But I decided to see what would happen if we gave dry water a little bit different texture. What if instead of making it like a dry liquid, we made it like a dry slime or some non-Newtonian fluid? So I made myself some homemade slime, put it in the blender, and then added some fumed silica, and this is what I got. Now this stuff is so cool to play with. It kind of looks like a shag rug or something. Look at this. This stuff is so cool to play with. So it feels like you're playing with slime, but it doesn't stick to you and it strings out like these really thin spider webs. It's so cool. Now depending on how much fumed silica I added to it, I could get different textures. If I wanted it to be more powdery or less powdery, I just added more fumed silica or not. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And also hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.